from Victorville, the king of Victorville, King Ryan Garcia. Victorville about an hour and a half north, about an hour north of downtown Los Angeles. If you've ever driven to Vegas, you've driven past Victorville. He's fast and he's flashy, and he's certainly not shy about social media. King Ryan Garcia, certainly a young man that Golden Boy has a lot of hopes for going into the future. The question is, can he be fundamentally sound as he steps up his level of competition in due time? No, it's not. Mario Maxia and his opponent to my right, weighing in at 131.6 pounds. He has a perfect record of nine wins, zero losses. Eight of those wins coming by way of knockout. He is the pride of Los Angeles, California, Ryan Garcia. Hey. Ryan Garcia in the white trunks. Kid has some pop, has some style, has some sizzle behind him at the age of 18. Oh, he's got a nickname too. On his belt, you see El Rey, the king. Going bilingual, I like that, Ryan Garcia. Kid has the power, though. I remember interviewing Ryan during one of the open workouts leading into the Canelo Alvarez Chavez fight back in May, and I asked him, Ryan, were you influenced by Roy Jones and Floyd Mayweather? And he said, I absolutely was. And you could see just by the way he boxes, low left hand, likes to shoulder roll, lead with a lot of hooks, hand speed. And, and there he goes, Gar Garcia's down. Ryan Garcia said it, has that power. Here it is in the first. A lot of fans. For a kid who's only 18, a lot of hope, a lot of promise behind him. Trained by his father in their garage in Victorville, California. And Macias is already in survival mode. Well, Macias has been stopped numerous times. Uh, this is nothing that new That stung him, him and it and is over. over. A first round KO for Ryan Garcia. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jack Reese stops the fight at one minute and 14 seconds in the first round. And you're a winner and still undefeated by knockout, Ryan Garcia.